sensitive service and is dealing on the time and the seasons very prophetic and that is the medium that the Lord actually you know wants uh, to project and disseminate and dispatch these heaven based information and prophecies actually there is a game that the Lord is in it's business now a game is going on now not everybody is aware of this game and this game is an exodus game honestly the Lord is in the business of evacuating his people from a particular place which he never designed for them to the place of his choice and the originality of this word exodus is that it had been in existence before the official exodus of god's people from the land of egypt so in this case we are not just talking you know religious uh, matters no we want to open up by the holy spirit things that pertains to it. the original intent of god before exodus something happened there is a fact there have been people created by God and they have been aware in the very will of God. But suddenly, you know, something happened and they were driven out of the will of God and the master plan. And then where they met themselves is called outside garden. You know, that place is not meant for the man that the Lord created. And immediately he planned their exodus from that particular place. They found themselves back to the garden. And that is the entirety of this wisdom. And then how do we go? There are some things we want to touch. You know, in the book of Isaiah chapter 51, 1, 2, and 3. It says, look at the rock from whence you were healed. And look at Abraham, uh, your father, and uh, Sarah, your mother, you know, that kind of thing. And then, compartilling the rock, Abraham and Sarah. We have to look at this and one other popular scriptures to portray this and to explain this and what about this exodus thing exodus is the language of the now <coughs> excuse me dear exodus is the language that god is speaking exodus evacuation living where in fact living where the lord doesn't want you to be to where he wants you to be and that's why pertaining abraham you see what happened what transpired in the book of genesis chapter 12 what happened yeah, and the Lord came to Abraham and said, Abraham, leave this place you are used to. Leave this place you, you cherish so much. This, uh, this place that you love so much. If, uh, this religious platform, this religious atmosphere, uh, this religious background you are used to. Leave this place. This is not the place I want you. This is Babylon. And that's Chadian. And leave this place. To the place I will show you. I want you to live by revelation. I want you to be so dependent on me and now will direct you to the very place of my choice. And Abraham obeyed God and that it was a record unto him faith and righteousness. And I tell you the truth and that's why I say that without faith it's still possible to please God. Abraham pleased God by getting, allowing the Lord, lead him out of Babylon and to the very place of God's choice. And another place how, uh, um, we will just touch so we we'll understand this better. Is the book of Hebrew chapter uh, six, where the Lord says, "Living these elementary things, aha, and let's go to the let's go up uh, to maturity." There is a thing game going on now. There are a, a, a sort of religious activities that people are so attached to that doesn't command the glory of God. In fact, if there is anything like Ichabod, God is no more in those things. Uh, there's, uh, those things the Lord, uh, St. Paul says, these things we do if the Lord permits. So it is all about the Lord. People have not uh, have forgotten that it is all about the Lord. If it is not the Lord, then nothing like, you know, uh, heaven we're talking about. So we must understand what it means to depend on the Lord like Abraham. So that the Lord will lead us out of these things that uh, we are into. Where God is not, you know, <laughs> elementary things. But let's see what Martha was doing. Martha was into the business of things he would do to please God. You know, and Mary was sitting with the Lord. And that is exactly what the Lord wants, to stay with him, to be in him, to dwell with him. But Martha was busy going place to place, looking for one or two things, fasting to do to please God, diabetes to do to please God. 
and the amount of money to pay to please God, you know, to buy God car. Do he need all these things? No. What God wants is that we leave these things we think we can offer to God to get him appeased to the place of his choice. That's of course, that's the reason why he saved them from Egypt. In Exodus chapter 19, verse 4, it says mm, that he redeemed them from the land of Egypt to bring them unto himself. That is the very purpose of God. And I tell you the truth, not only that, us is even in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 7, he says, For the Lord himself will come down. What is he coming down to do? He's coming down in the voice of the apostles and prophets of the now, you know, to get his people evacuated. Those that has the prophetic uh, information, which is the trumpet, and those that has the apostolic information, which is the voice of the archangel, you know, to get them evacuated from the dust. That dust means the realm of the flesh, the realm of you know religion the realm of babylon where god is not he's not interested in those things he wants to evacuate men and say for the lord himself will come down and when he does so he will get us evacuated from that place we've been we're so comfortable with to the place of his choice which is the realm of the heavenly the earth because as recorded and written in psalms 87 verse 1 and 2 says that his foundation is in the holy mountain and what again he says I love the gate of Zion more than all the dwelling of Jacob. How do I mean? They say, look unto the rock from whence you were hewn. According to Jeremiah uh, chapter 53, we read, we cited initially. What am I actually talking about? That according to that Jeremiah, uh, looking unto the rock from whence we are here, who is that rock? That rock remains Jesus, the very purpose, the very one that whom they are, are to gather to. He is the Shiloh in Genesis 4. They say, Unto him shall the gathering of his people be. And the purpose of the gathering, we were told in Matthew 24, he departed from the temple. See, and Jesus departed from the temple. Why did he depart? Because we learned all these things from John chapter. Uh, 19 verse 20 john chapter 5 verse 19 and 20 says of whatever i see the father do is what i do he saw the father depart from the temple and himself departed so god wasn't in the temple he saw the father depart from the temple and he departed and this is exactly what people of israel used to do anytime the the cloud you know over the tabernacle they pass they bundle up the tabernacle and move and follow the the the, 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 the move the the movement of that cloud and that is that was how they were living with the Lord in those days. Anytime the, the, the cloud stops, anywhere the, the cloud stops, they stop. That, so the leadership of God was paramount there at that time. So Jesus saw the Father depart from the temple and he departed too and went to the mountain because he saw the Father go to the mountain. So where exactly of that place is heavenly places. That's Mount Zion for you. And then the final state of this is that the Lord warned and said, <laughs> in book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 say come out of her come out of her my people lest you partake in her iniquities that woman called Babylon Babylon is not where God is God will judge Babylon and that's why he say come out of her because that place the presence, you can't find his presence there you can't find God in Babylon no matter the activities religious activities going on anywhere I mean there's no God there so exodus from where God is not to where God is and in him we live in him we move and in him we have our being at 17 so it is in God that we must be but we will expand more on this in the next episode of this uh, what says the time that you will understand a better detail have a better details and analysis of all that the Lord is trying to say so are you going to obey God by living even as Abraham was prompted or was commanded leave to the place so what spiritual state are you now are you actually where he wants you to be are you feeling his presence do you know about this or oh, afford it on you please don't forget to subscribe and share this with your relations with your relatives god bless you